what's going on everybody welcome back today we are talking about the black order i unlocked ebony mall last night so far with the black order i've got to say i really enjoy using them i think they're a pretty solid team they definitely have some pretty good uses in different parts of the game they were marketed as an arena meta kind of team but i've also found that i can use them in ultimate 7 ebony maw is actually very good in dark dimension there's some pretty good stuff coming from this team however that does not mean it is all good there's definitely some issues that need to be worked out with this team i'm not the first person to notice this for starters ebony maw's ultimate is not functioning properly especially in pvp matches there's a big issue with countering phoenix with ebony maw which i found which is kind of a big problem since he was marketed as a counter to uh, to phoenix so him not being a solid counter to phoenix is a bit of an issue as well there's also some issues with focus and overlapping redundancies and debuffs and stuff there are some issues with black order so it is not all sunshine and rainbows with this team but for the most part this team is fantastic it is going to be a deadly offensive team and it has great opening potential your first few turns you're just dealing out huge amounts of damage you're just destroying the enemy team and then it kind of comes to this problem with sustainability which can be an issue in raids and dark dimension other places but on the whole if you're looking for a solid pvp offense team black order is it they are nasty on offense let's go a little more into detail about some of these places and my experience with them let's start off with pvp because that's where they are advertised so let's start off with the biggest bright spot of black order if you need a counter to as guardians whether it's an arena or war defense black order is it these guys can punch up big time against as guardians most of my fights right now i'm punching across but and people are finding that they punch up way way above their weight against as guardians so for now this is the go-to counter for as guardians if you have black order and you're going to be using them in war it's highly suggested you say them for offense and you say them as an as guardian counter because this is a great team to counter as guardians you do not have a better counter to as guardians right now that is something to keep in mind as well but also for arena let's talk about the big thing that ebony maw especially was supposed to bring here they marketed ebony maw as a counter to phoenix and in fact if you go and look at his passive here envoy of thanos when an enemy controller dies he applies immunity to all allies barriers all allies 20 percent of his max health and then he gains charge and so when an ability hero or ability or sorry when a hero controller enemy moves they then get an ability block applied to all of them and then he loses charge this cannot be dodged so this is supposed to be a big counter to phoenix phoenix dies she resurrects and her when she resurrects she does that aoe damage that's negated by the barrier but then this ability block is supposed to come in there's two big problems with this ability block number one it can get resisted and if your phoenix has a lot of re resistance on her she is going to very easily resist this ability block that's one big problem number two this ability block only lasts one turn so what this means is that she is still going to get her ultimate off very quickly she's still going to be able to get it off without any kind of issues i'm pretty sure this is not what the player base was expecting when they heard a counter to phoenix she uh she can still easily get around this ability block she can resist the ability block it's a problem so he's not a huge counter like we were expecting like black bolt just completely shuts down ultron ebony maw still has issues with phoenix and this is also going to build into something else as well there is a serious problem with dispelling and especially with focus on your black order team now i have the t4 on these passive for proxima midnight and this gives bonus focus to black order and thanos and when you're fighting colossus and he has defense up and taunt he has plus 1000 resistance you do not have enough focus on a black order team to bypass the taunt on colossus so if colossus taunts and there's a dark phoenix there you can't do anything you cannot dispel there's not enough focus on a on a black order team it's just not the air they need some serious boost of focus if they're going to be that true counter to phoenix like we were expecting so there are some problems there colossus is just completely preventing you from going after phoenix it is a big issue i was watching times where my proxima and corvus were just wailing away on their basics on colossus and just not dispelling anything because he had so much resistance so the bonus focus here with proxima and her passive 
it's not enough for what we were expecting. And there's also another problem here with overlapping offense down debuffs, especially at the start of a match. That's also a big problem in Arena as well. Ebony Ma on his special with Insidious Whisper can apply offense down for two turns to all enemies, which is great, except right before he goes, Proxima Midnight does the exact same thing with Star Throw, where she can apply offense down to the primary and secondary targets for two turns. You have some pretty big overlap with offense down between these two characters right at the start of the match. That's a pretty big issue with redundancy. It's causing issues in Arena as well. I know that we've also seen issues with the ultimate for Ebony Maw. There's some issues where his force transfusion is not pulling enough damage from the enemies, but if you do go into Dark Dimension, you'll be glad to know that he destroys the uh, the enemy health pools like Minerva does with his ultimate. Not sure if that's working as intended or not, but that is something to point out is that his ultimate wipes out health pools just like Minerva does. So it is also noted that even at T4 upgrade with Force Transfusion, it does not seem to be pulling health four or five times, but instead only four times. You're supposed to be pulling it five times with the full, with the upgrade here at level six. Apparently, it's only pulling four times even with this T, with this upgrade. So there is something to be noticed with that as well. Overall, there there's some issues. If outside of Phoenix, this team destroys anything. It's it's gonna crush PvP. It's gonna crush Blitz. It's gonna crush War offense. It's a great offensive team. For arena there is some defensive issues for sure there's focus issues there's problems with phoenix there are some issues that still need to be worked out i think there's some bugs here going on definitely some tweaking as well we haven't even talked about how the ultimate for empowered thanos the celestial barrage does not do a lot of damage even at a t4 upgrade i was watching people do this and you're talking maybe 80 90 000 damage with Celestial Barrage, it's not very powerful. And of course, he also has a problem where Offense Up has worn off by the time he gets to use Celestial Barrage. So he's missing a huge chunk of damage with that too. There are some issues that need to be tweaked. I'm expecting that they're probably going to fix some of this stuff here because right now it's not living up to what we were expecting in terms of PvP. But I'm glad to say he is very good. The Black Order team as a whole, very good in PvE. Let's talk about that right now. So PvE with your Black Order team, I am glad to say that they're actually solid in Ultima 7, but they're very situational in this way. One of the big problems that I mentioned earlier with them is that they have problems with sustainability, keeping things alive, not a lot of healing. But in Ultima 7, there seems to be a lot of hero controllers you run into in a lot of nodes. Like for example, this one has Quake right here, not a lot here for hero controllers. But if you go here, there's gonna be Scarlet Witch, there's some vision here. I don't think, I don't believe Dr. Strange is a hero controller, but you have three hero controllers here. You can go in further. There's Star-Lord here. He's a hero controller. As you go through, you're going to find these nodes where you have a lot of hero controllers. And what this opens up is that you actually get, like for example here, a bunch of Jessica Jones. There's a Mantis, there's some Mantises. Any node that has a heavy saturation of hero controllers, you can safely use the Black Order team in because as every time you defeat those hero controllers, you actually get that barrier charged up on your team because of Ebony Maw, and then he applies ability block to them because he has charged and everything. It's great. It was fantastic watching the Jessica Jones actually get ability blocked because I defeated a Mantis beforehand. It was actually really funny. I never see a debuff land on Jessica Jones. So to see that was pretty funny, but yeah, I mean, any kind of node that has a heavy concentration of hero controllers that is where you want to go we've got two visions two scarlet witches here anything like that that is a node that's going to be pretty friendly for your black order team to go into there are problems here you do want to kind of preload and you save up your ultimates before you go into the next fight and then just kind of unload and start wailing away on those controllers because the sooner you get them down the better off things are going to be here and also i forgot to mention there's two hawkeyes here as well he's also a controller so you have a whopping six controllers that's a good 120 percent barrier that you can get by killing these six controllers right here so that is something to keep in mind they are great for that and i mentioned this earlier with ebony maw and dark dimension 2 you uh yeah it, i don't know what to say i'm not sure if it's working as intended or not but he is able to drain a massive amount of health with dark dimension 2 characters I mean, you have Minerva who can do massive amounts of drain already, 
Ebony Maw does the same thing. And in fact, I've even got it slowed down here for you guys to see that he ticks and he pulls a good 70, 80,000 health from each enemy. Now, it doesn't fully redistribute to your characters. And when I go back and look at this, I'm not sure if this is working as intended or not. If I look at it, it says that he steals 3% health from all enemies and then he redistributes it. So it's kind of unclear what uh, what this means. Like, I think that this means it's just going to steal that much, but then only a certain amount is redistributed to your allies. It says a maximum of 25% of his max health. So you can steal 15% if it's working properly, which is not. So 12% right now, but then only 25% of that stolen health, only 25% based on his max health is getting taken back to your character. So that's kind of, it, it, it's hard to say if it's working as intended or not. There's some kind of weird coding issues here. I'm not sure if it's correct, but that is something to note that if you are looking to use Ebony Maw in Dark Dimension, you're safe to use it. He is going to drain those enemies pretty quickly. It's really fun to watch Ebony and then Minerva follow up behind each other and just wipe out the enemy health pools. It's really fun to watch. So if you're also looking for a place to use them, there's also the challenge modes. I believe today's challenge for training day credits. Yes, yes. So you can use them in the training modules for cosmic characters. You can use them here to knock out tiers 11 and 12, possibly. So you do have places there. There's mystic characters here. Ebony Maw and Thanos are both mystic characters. Corvus and Proxima are skill and Coal Obsidian is bio. So you can divvy them up in different places and get some uses out of them. Just some places in PVE that you guys could possibly, you know, plug them in, get some use out of them. Let me know down below, what do you guys think of the Black Order so far? Do you guys have them? Do you guys want them? What do you think so far? Do you think they need to be adjusted or do you think they should be left as is? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time.